Hey folks, welcome to another video. This one's kind of exciting to me. Today I got the Sony Link Buds. I want to give full disclaimer on this. I paid for these out of my own pocket because I am a believer in Sony's open ear systems. I've got several different models of these headphones. I've got these right here. This is the OG retail product, the Xperia Open Ear, Xperia Ear Duos. Uh, take this out. It looks a little bit different than a normal headphone. It's got this little kind of open concept. Goes in your ear a bit like this. And it's got this little touch thing right here behind your ear. That was kind of the first thing that came out of a project that I was lucky enough to work on with Sony. Uh, they solicited feedback from tech enthusiasts and people that were passionate about their community in the San Francisco Bay Area. It was called the Sony Future Labs or Sony Future Experience Project. And that particular project had what was called the Concept N device, which was a neckband that had headphones very similar to the ones that, well, I'm holding here. Again, similar concept. And I have them backward right now, so we'll flip that and do the same thing. Stick that right here in my ear, and you can see again, this little circular cup allows you to hear the world around you while you are listening to something else. So it doesn't take you away from being present in the moment in the real world. I like the products so much that I also purchased these wired headphones. These are the ones I use when I'm in VR or listening to things on conference calls or what have you. I use these on a daily basis and that's why they're all tangled as a mess because I just kind of throw them back in the bag when I'm not using them, which is not a proper way to handle them, I'm sure, but it's the way that I can grab them easily. That I just pick up this pouch and I use them. So these get a ton of use from me. If you watch me playing VR, you tend to maybe see these with the wire dangling down. These are the headphones that are basically my daily drivers right now. Again, with that little concept of the little circle that goes in your ear canal. So you can still hear things around you. And I feel like it helps you to stay present in the moment. These have a little volume control and mute button essentially on them for, for a microphone that's inside this wire right here. But otherwise, they're just headphones, right? The Link Buds here take that concept a little bit further. So we're going to do a quick unboxing. Sony went a bit, bit eco-friendly with this packaging. It's literally just, I, I peeled this a little bit, and then inside it says Link Buds. Very simple cardboard packaging. Simple paper outer layer. It's got a little cardboard hang tag. So everything should be eco-conscious and eco-friendly. Now we'll go ahead and open this up. And it's got a one, two, three for directions inside. Number one is uh, scan this little QR code. I'm assuming that'll get us some help. Number two is to power on the uh, link bud. And number three, it looks like, is to pair the link bud to your device. And then it's got different sizes here for the little silicone pieces that go around it. So we've got extra small, small, medium, large, and extra large for in the ear canal, good fit. This is the size of the charging case with the buds in it, which is a bit smaller than the Apple AirPods. And if you compare it to the old Xperia Ear Duo, how small that is in combination. Uh, that's super impressive to me, and that's another reason why I picked these up. Uh, the Ear Duos I used to use on a daily basis. They last about four hours per charge. These are supposed to last five and a half hours. So a little bit of an improvement there. As you can see, it has a power button on the case and a USB-C charging port. Standard USB-C doesn't have any special cables or anything of that nature, so that's also a good feature to have. You've got the Sony logo emblazoned right on the front, and then inside, 
at least partially charged. You can see the little green and red lights there. We've got one for the right ear, one for the left ear. This is the right ear. So we'll go ahead and try to fit that in right now. And there it is, in the ear canal. And again, what's great about the Sony products is these have these little ear canals that you can actually hear the world around you. It's fantastic. So we'll go ahead and put the left ear in. And there they are. And they're not going anywhere. That little silicone piece definitely helps. Now what I'll do is go ahead and uh, do some testing with it. And they're, all, they're really hardly even noticeable. This is crazy. Love them. And I'll come back with a bit of a hands-on review. All right, so it's been a couple of weeks and I've changed a lot of things. I've got a different hat, I've got different glasses, different shirt, uh, less facial hair, and I'm still wearing the Sony Link Buds. I'm actually talking to you using the microphone from the Link Buds right now. Uh, I don't feel like it's as good of a clarity as my standard mic setup, but it works pretty well in a pinch. I will say that the touch gestures uh, are pretty cool. So if you tap once, you can set it to do one thing. Tapping twice does another thing. Tapping three times does another thing. So those tap gestures I use with my phone, playing Spotify and playing other music sources, and I can pause or I can change the volume or I, so two taps is uh, increasing the volume. One tap will decrease the volume. And it's weird because I'm touching my face as I'm doing it, but you can also touch the earbud. Whatever you feel is most comfortable, it has kind of like a long range radar for those gesture controls, those taps. It recognizes the taps. It does not recognize, however, if you're chewing, which is interesting because chewing makes a similar motion to a tap on the outside of your cheek. So that was a pretty cool thing. Uh, I feel like the bass response in the Link Buds is definitely a bit better than the other style uh, Sony open ear products like this one. Um, mainly because that circle that is metal, it's, it's more uh, rigid. It has definitely more of a space for bass to come through. I will also say though, that it's a little bit harder to hear the outside world wearing the Link Buds than it is with the older uh, Open Ear Concept products. So that was interesting to me. Do I like them? Absolutely. Do I think it's something that you should buy right now? I'm not sure. The older Concept products are really hard to get in the United States. Um, and they do definitely offer a bit more openness to your hearing. They work pretty well, but these Link Buds are true wireless, come in a tiny portable case, and work with a myriad of devices. Right now I've got them connected to my computer. They work really well with my Sony Xperia 5 phone. They work well with iPhones as well. So if you're in the market for a set of headphones um, because you can't plug in headphones to your phone anymore or you just want the freedom of true wireless, they're pretty good. Um, I'm just not positive. I'm not fully sold on do they give something that other headphones don't at the current time. It's because I've got all of these other products. Like if, if you can pick up a copy of the uh, Sony Xperia Ear Duo here, they're just as good. And, and outside of bass response, they actually provide a little bit more openness in, in, in their functionality. Um, but they're similar price if you find them. And these are brand new products, and these come in a much, much smaller package. I mean, look at that, much smaller package. So, I like the Link Buds. They're gonna be my daily wireless drivers for a while. I still have my wired ones that I use constantly for everything else. Uh, these work on Bluetooth. They do tether with a Sony headphones app. Um, it's downloadable directly on your phone. It's just 
it just says headphones, literally. That yellow, yellow button there. Headphones. That's the application. It also allows you to do 3D audio. So if, for example, you have Tidal or Deezer and you subscribe to their premium 3D audio platform, these will do spatial audio. They will do uh, a bit fuller sound, more directional sound than the standard headphones. So if you're looking for something like that as an upgrade to your standard listening experience, cool. Do they isolate your ears? No. Um, and that's actually kind of the point. Uh, will they work great on a bus or navigating the streets or things of that nature? Absolutely. Do they work great for me and my ideal setup? Yes. But if you want something that's noise canceling or things of that nature, there are lots of other headphones out there that do a better job of that because these are not to cancel the noise, but to add the music or whatever you're listening to, to the world around you. It augments that the sounds of the world around you with additional sounds from the link buds. I'm really excited to see what happens with the link buds in the future. I know that Sony and Niantic have gotten together and they partnered and they're going to work on some audio augmented reality projects together, uh, starting with Ingress, which is what started me with Niantic and got me into the Sony Future Labs program. So kind of cool that that's the game that they've decided to focus on as their first entry. So later this year, uh, they're going to share more news about that development. Sony did have for the concept end device an audio augmented reality game called Lost Dog that was only available within the San Francisco area. And it was a really cool experience. So I'm excited to see if they bring something like that back or if they do something totally new. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this kind of two week out look at the Sony Link Buds. They're uh, pretty small. They work really well, and I'm excited that they're out on the market and in my ears. I'll be back with more content soon. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR, AR, audio, video, whatever your interests are. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.